Today, in part two of a four-part political series here on SSP TV News, we have independent state senator John Udichak. Janine Lasant talks with him about how the state is continuing to handle the pandemic. Live to have back State Senator John Udichek. So, Senator, thanks for joining us here on the program. Thank you for having me. We have a new president. We have concerns who are on a local basis with what will happen, not only with the economy, um, but also with the pandemic. So, we wanted to touch base with you on your views and to touch base with your constituents as well. Uh, they are the two central issues that uh, we're going to face at the federal and, and state government. Uh, and, and that is response to the pandemic, response to uh, what is a, a once in a generation healthcare crisis uh, that has cost far too many lives, that have uh, uh, put too many families in very difficult financial positions and shut down many businesses. Uh, so the federal and state response is going to be critical to make sure that we can start a recovery here in Pennsylvania and, and across the country. I mean, we just passed legislation in the Senate that'll drive out nearly a billion dollars in federal stimulus dollars passed in the previous administration uh, under President Trump. That $911 million is going to go out to our small businesses, $145 million to those small businesses that have been hurt by this pandemic. Uh, also, there's going to be nearly $600 million in rental and utility assistance, folks that have lost their jobs and can't uh, keep up with their bills. We're gonna help them through this crisis. And, and of course, dollars for education. I have four beautiful daughters. Uh, 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 one daughter is in person, uh, other three are uh, in cyber. It's a very disruptive time for our children. Uh, they're going through a great deal. So we, we need to make sure that we're investing those dollars to keep them up on, on their education. And then pivoting from dealing with the pandemic we need a coordinated collaborative response from the state and federal government on an economic recovery. Uh, I am thrilled uh, that I've been named the chair, the majority chair of the Community Economic and Recreational Development Committee in the Senate. May be the first independent chair of a majority committee in the history of the Commonwealth. Uh, and that wouldn't happen if uh, I didn't have the confidence of President Pro Tem Jay Corman. So very grateful to Senator Corman uh, for selecting me for that important position. That committee oversees all of the Department of Community and Economic Development. It oversees our casino industry uh, in Pennsylvania and all the economic and community programs geared to creating economic opportunity and to help our struggling communities. Hazleton City, for example, one of our third class cities, that's Act 47. Uh, the committee that I now chair oversees the Act 47 program. So helping our communities, helping our families, that all starts with creating jobs. Um, Senator, and finally, your advice to uh, small businesses in the state that are struggling, looking for maybe some light at the end of the tunnel with the pandemic. The, the small business owners are the backbone of our community. They, they, they really are the heart of the community. We started a, a, a program in the Northeast called uh, a Boost Business. I, I put out a challenge grant from my foundation of $2,500 uh, to raise money, not only from a financial perspective, but also help them on the marketing uh, and in getting their businesses back open. We've lost far too many restaurants and bars and small uh, retail shops. Uh, they've been hit hardest. Now, the money that we drove out, $145 million, uh, that's not going to go a long way. Uh, that is already on top of $250 million uh, that we appropriated in last year's budget. We need to continue and have an economic recovery plan. That's going to be one of the first hearings that we have, the new Community Economic and Recreational Development Committee. We've already met with the restaurant and hospitality industry. We got to have a stimulus package and a recovery plan for that industry. Carbon County, number one industry is tourism. Tourism is so important to the economy in Northeastern Pennsylvania. Our hotels, our restaurants, our ski resorts, our trails, they've all been impacted. We need to help those small business owners recover. Uh, again, they're the backbone of our community. Uh, when they thrive, our communities thrive and, and Northeastern Pennsylvania thrives. Thank you very much. A nice highlight of what's going on, Senator. Always, like, always nice to see you. Always nice to hear bipartisan efforts and us working together. Thank you. Yep, thank you. 
Today's news feature is brought to you by Feisner's Ford and Freeland, who is celebrating 75 years in business. Give them a call at 570-636-3920, or you can log on to FeisnersFord.com.